The 6000 series oscilloscope has a frequency spectrum mode for analysing the frequency content of any acquired data. So for this example we're going to generate a sweeping waveform from the internal generator and then analyse the sweep frequency. So we'll go ahead now and select the arbitrary waveform generator. So we're going to generate for this example a sine wave sweeping from a start frequency of 100 kilohertz. And we're going to sweep up to a frequency of 500 kilohertz. In fact, we'll select sweep type up and down, so it will sweep up to a, from 100 kilohertz to 500 and then back. And we'll set the frequency increments to uh, 10 hertz. And I'll set the time interval to a couple of hundred microseconds. We'll leave it on one volt amplitude and that should be generating the sweep waveform. So now we select auto set and indeed we can see now the arbitrary waveform generator is sweeping up from a lower to a high frequency. In the time mode it would be very difficult to actually me uh, measure this frequency but in the spectrum mode we can see exactly what frequencies we're sweeping from and to. The bandwidth of the spectrum is from DC up to a 350 megahertz, so this is the full bandwidth of the instrument. In this particular case, we will only need to go up to uh, 2 megahertz. So now we can see we are indeed starting to sweep from around the 100 kilohertz up to the 500 kilohertz area. We can then change the options of the frequency spectrum, so we can change the number of bins. In fact, we can go up to a million bins. What this will relate to is the frequency resolution that is possible. So we can leave it in this case on 16K. We can also select uh, different window functions. And we can select either a linear or a log scaling on the vertical. In fact, I'll change the uh, log scale to dBm. And I'm also going to change the display mode from magnitude to peak hold. And I'm going to apply those changes. So now we can actually hold the sweep from the 100 kilohertz. So now we can see the lower end of the sweep up to the top end, which was the selected 500 kilohertz. So in the frequency plot, it's very easy to see the frequencies we're sweeping between. We can change the the filters, the window filter. So at the moment it's a Blackman. So if we select a Hamming filter and apply that, we can actually see the rounding effect of the filter itself on the edges. Or if we select a flat top, which is just a rectangular filter, we can see then there are no skirts on the bottom of the waveform. So this is a very uh, just a, a, an example of how we could use the uh, spectrum mode to analyse the frequency of any particular signal being acquired.